Where are you calling me from, love? Uh, Atlanta. Atlanta. How old are you? I'm 30. 30? What you do for a living? I'm a personal trainer. Personal trainer. You have any children? No. No. Um, what's your zodiac sign? <laughs> I'm an Aquarius, so it's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's Aquarius. I'm a Libra. Yeah, my sister's going to trip out that I'm on here right now. Uh, it's Kamari, right? Yeah, Kamari. Don't be offended, but I want to just start off to get clarity. Who yeah. are you looking for tonight? Oh, uh, women. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, now, ladies, this, I, I got to talk to you to deep dive. But that nigga brawly can sell, dog. You're aesthetic um, requirements. You're attractive. You're in shape. You're 30. You have no kids. Let me get to know you better. What kind of woman are you looking for, Kamari? Well, first, I'm going to throw you for a loop. So I'm a trans man. Um, so that's why I know kids. Um, Kamari, I would have never knew you was born a woman. Yeah. My... Ain't no way that's a woman, dog. <laughs> ain't, ain't no way that that individual was born a woman. Ain't no way. Ain't no way in hell that that individual was born a woman. Like, like I said, my sister. Like I said, my sister is gonna trip. Cause I said I'm gonna try it tonight. I I just hit it. Aquarius oh, night. Man. Yeah. A fine ass trans man. <laughs> I appreciate that. I know a lot. Let me tell you. I, 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 I got to get into it. She's stuttering. Um, about eight years ago, I want to say it's almost eight years. Come March 31st, it'll be eight years. What about the voice? Uh, it just kind of dropped, I guess, along the process. You look good. I would have never known. <laughs> Thank you. That, that's the whole point, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's the goal. That's the goal. Okay, so you're looking for women, but what? you... I have a question. You can just... I'm not going to answer it. Um, have you had surgery everywhere? Um, I, I honestly... I haven't had surgeries. I'll just be honest, because like I said, you know, I'm out here because I'm looking for a wife. Um, so no, you know, no surgeries, just hard work in the gym. Okay. Yeah. We are now at the Kendra Ken. Okay. So it's time for the Kendra Ken, and they, they want to see you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on. Ladies, let me ask you a question. Could you imagine being with a man? That look like a man, sound like a man, shape like a man, but got a poom poom. Y'all in the bedroom playing rock, paper, scissors? I'm going to stop before I get canceled. How long have you been together? Three years. Three years. Three years. Has he proposed to you yet? No. no, not yet. It's coming. It's coming. Look at my boy starting stuff. Yes. A year and a year. So why would he put a ring on it then if he's already getting everything? That's a good question. <laughs> why would you ask <laughs> that, like, bro? Okay, you got it. <laughs> what? Why would you put a ring on it if we already live together? If I'm already doing wifey shit. I, I genuinely love him. Oh. So when you plan on proposing? You starting something. Why do I need a ring to show you my love and dedication to you when I do that on a daily basis? A ring is making it official. Yeah, there's no such thing as official. You love each other. It's just like... A ring is making it official. 
Yeah, everybody got their own opinion. So it's just like, <laughs> she's a female, so a female going to have their own opinion anyway. You're single until married, in my opinion. That term don't mean shit to me. <laughs> yeah, oh. <all. laughs> I'm being You're all the way authentic married. with you. I'm being authentic with you. I'm being 100 with you. That term you just said don't mean I ain't never seen my boy start no fire like that. You just threw my man in the pit, boy. Yo, that car ride home was probably crazy. I'm going to be real, though. I'm married. I like being married. But I'm going to be honest with you. Before me and my wife got married, we were doing husband and wife stuff. We lived together. We shared bank accounts. What I can say about being married is now now you allow the government to be in your business. Let's say our marriage don't, don't work out. We get a divorce. The government is going to decide how we split our stuff up. Of course, we, we can be amicable and say, hey, you know what? We leaving with what we came with. Now, I don't think that my wife would do me as dirty as I've seen some of my friends get done by their significant others when the relationship didn't work. One of my co-workers was telling me a story. His friend was the son of a very wealthy individual who lived in Jamaica. And this person was wealthy because of, you know, little dealings they had. Straight rude boy. Rude boy shata, right? That's as far as I'm gonna go with that. The guy, he passed away and I believe he left like three houses for his wife. And these houses were big. Very big, like mansions. The wife ended up selling one of these houses and got a, f a few millions for that house. So she was able to come to America and she bought a house. She bought a house in America. And the house in America that she bought, huge. That she was a mansion. I think it had like 15, 16 bedrooms. So, something to that effect, bro. I'm, I'm not sure. It, it, it was a lot of bedrooms. So anyway, the guy gets married. The wife, I think he caught the wife cheating. Or something to that effect. Some stuff transpired and she ended up getting this man's house. So imagine getting married to somebody and losing the house that your mother bought. So that's why a lot of people are, that's why a lot of men are scared to get married. Because once you get married, the government, them people, is automatically on the woman's side. Would you date a guy that makes 75k a year? That's <laughs> so cute. No, no, no. With inflation and this economy, I absolutely could not. I don't think that he could afford our groceries. And I mean, and I'm buying organic, and obviously I'm buying all like grass fed, grass finished beef, no seed oils. So, no, he couldn't afford that at Whole Foods. No, no, no. No Whole Foods for this guy. No Whole Foods. We're back at like Publix, like the sale section. Like Walmart groceries. Walmart groceries, yeah. <laughs> 75k is a lot of money. Now, I ain't gonna say it's a lot of money, but 75k, depending on. No, 75k is good bread. I'm I'm sorry, 75k is good bread. Um, wow, that's that's just, that's just sad. That's just sad. Now I'm gonna be real with you. I I make more than 75k. I feel as though. Forget what she talking about. F, F what she talking about, okay? I'm going to speak to y'all. Because a lot of us have this problem where the more money we make, the more expenses we put on ourselves. And I realized that from my me taking accountability for my spending habits. I have a good job. I love my job. I'm not going to lie. I love my job. But on top of that, YouTube. I saw how much money I made in YouTube for this year. And... In my mind, I was like, where the hell, where, where all that money go? Where did all that money go? So far, and the year is now over, I've made more money doing YouTube this year than I've ever made from my previous job. And, and this is actually starting from, from, from March. So from March till now, and that's just on YouTube. This is not taken in consideration like, the money I make from my current job now, which pays a lot more than my previous job, and like trading forex, you know what I'm saying? Like, and and just like investments and shit like that. I can admit that I need to be more disciplined. Oh lord, what's this? 
a little combination on me. This for me? Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Why? Mm. Come here. I'm a little bartender. Come, Come here. Bartender. I'll, I'll Talking to the people. Come here. Come, come sit on About the oh my yo, my stomach be looking so give yeah, me give me thing, too but, much. But the thing behind it looked like that too. Come but here. But give me too much, y'all. Give mm. me too much. This gut gonna be going. That's it, cool. Yeah, home. Yeah, right there. What's up? Now I was just talking about my spending habits. And I was saying how like I make more money now and my spending habits seem to be trash. But you you know you take care of the household too, so Yeah, say that louder. Say it like you say say it louder. You gotta say that low. Oh, you take care of the household you too. You know what I'm saying? So. There you go. Yeah, I was, I was saying that too. You feel me? You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just ain't get my hair done, but you know, babe, all the necessities are taken care you of. You said what? Huh? What did you just say? I'm waiting on the money to get my hair done. What's wrong with your hair? You said don't do that, Roger. You said you was gonna pay and, for my bundles. And, and your bun? Who? My bundles. Listen. Your birthday coming up. So it's in. my birthday. I want to look good for you. You look good no, now? No, 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 no. I want to look extra special. I, You look extra special now. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. You're already, ain't nothing you some, already promised ain't that. Ain't nothing some shampoo and some water can't fix. I don't understand. We don't have the same texture bundles. yet. That's not, that's what is not, bundles? It's hair attached to a weft that come in bundles. A what bundle, kind of hair? A stack. What kind of hair is it? Oh, you know when I went to that thing that you dropped me to for my we, client when we she change, we changed the stuff. No, no, the, my client when she had the CBD infused um ice cream. Yeah. And my hair, how my hair was done. Yeah. It's hair like that. Mm. It's long, flowy, full hair, similar to how my texture is when it's blow dried. And you love me with blow dry hair. This what I was saying, right? You need to, f what if you like go to a place where people, because bundles is human hair, right? Yes. So why don't you just cut your hair one year and save it? And when you grow, you grow your hair back. And when you feel like putting bundles in, you just put the hair that you cut. Well, people with locks do that because it's long. My hair's not long enough to do that. Even when I get your hair is long. What do you think no, no. of this? What are you no, no, talking no, no. about? I'm I like long full hair, like down past my back. I have naturally curly hair. Even if I straighten my hair and it's down past my back, when it's curly, it will just shrivel. That's why I purchase bundles. Even when I purchase curly bundles that's the same texture as mine, it goes down. My hair grows out and up. So that's why I add on. For it to be fuller and longer to come down. But honestly, I'm, I'm just want to switch up my look. So, I don't want straight hair, but I just want Diana Ross hair. Like, big, flowy, and long hair. The, the you know, just got to go for a minute. She's on pause. I'm going to be 35. It's time for a new look. And I want you to fund it. Because you're my husband. She's starting to go fund me. No, you are my girlfriend. Who? It's a disrespectful. Disrespect me. Mm. Really? I'm glad you finished with it now. Give me the cup. Make another one for me, please. Shit, you. $30? For what? To go get more? Yo, first off, I know I'm making a little extra bread and all that. Don't do me like that. Come on, son. <laughs> Yo. That's probably where all my damn money going. For real, for real. That's, please. that's why I'm over here complaining. Bro, please. Damn. I'm being nice. You being nice. I ain't digging your pockets like I really yeah, want to. Yeah, alright, bro. I know I'm making I'm a little... After you get the house and you get every, your car, then I'm going in. I know I'm making a little extra funds now, but don't... Come on, son. Waiting on my allowance. You waiting your allowance, my ass. You know what you need to do for that allowance? What? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, you know what you need to do. You feel me? I need to get tag teamed. I'm talking shit.
Yeah. Excuse me, do you speak English by any chance? Yes. Yes, you do? Yeah. Um, like perfectly? Yeah. I was wondering, do you know where I can like, um, find your number? My number? Yeah, I want your number. Um, uh, okay. Okay, what's your name? Irene. I'm married, nice to meet you. Yeah, are, you are you single? Um, complicated? Um, oh, yeah. you're, you're taken. <laughs> yeah, I'm taken. You're taken, okay, we could be friends. Oh, okay. Good as day, Gandia. I speak Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I just speak Spanish. No, I speak Toledo. The where? Toledo. Where is that? It's here in Madrid. Okay, okay. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm just visiting here, trying to make new friends. All right, awesome. Uh, your name? I'm terrible with names. Irene. Irene. Ed Eric, mucho gusto. Okay, yeah, nice ciao. I'll be on standby whenever you break up with your boyfriend. Okay. All right, bye. Hey, listen. Let me tell y'all something. A few years ago. I was telling my wife I would never make a Hispanic woman my girlfriend. I am very attracted to Hispanic women. I'm not even going to lie about that. Like, I am very, very attracted to Hispanic women. But as far as giving my heart to a Hispanic woman, I would not do it. I would not do it. Because the way they carry themselves around men, at least for the ones that I've been around, I'll go to jail. I would go to jail. I know I'll go to jail. So, for me, I'll, I'll, give this, I'll give this wood. I'll let off these loads when you start speaking that, that, that ish. Because, you know, at, at the end of the day, that's what it be. You, you, you know, you foreign. Who doesn't want a foreign? Every man wants a foreign. We all dream about dr driving Lamborghinis. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. Wife in one? No. I do not know one black man who has... Been in a relationship with a Hispanic woman that came out of that relationship without PTSD. Even dudes that had Hispanic women as side chicks came out of that situation with PTSD. So, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I ain't it's good, though. It's good. But, yeah. Mm -mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the video. Um, Again... Please, if you watch my videos on a regular basis, subscribe. If you are watching the content now and you like what you're seeing, subscribe. And hit the notification bell. You know what I mean? I got to explain to y'all how YouTube works. I'm explaining it to you, right? So, YouTube, it's not, it's not about the views. It's about the watch time. And for me, I feel as though I'm an entertaining guy. So, I, I'm not really concerned about the watch time. I'm more so concerned about you guys' ability to get to see the videos. You know? So if you hit that notification bell, you're going to get to see the videos. If you subscribe, you're going to get to see the videos. I'm trying to work with my sales pitch. Tell me how good I'm doing. You know what I mean? But really, to be honest, subscribe. Squat.